And we are following breaking news at this hour as Republicans debate the future of House Speaker Glenn Cassida. About 90 minutes ago, the Williamson County Republican joined other members of the House Republican Caucus at a downtown hotel for a closed door meeting. This follows that text messaging scandal involving racist and sexist messages first uncovered by News Channel 5 Investigates. Our chief investigative reporter, Phil Williams, is at this meeting standing outside waiting to hear the verdict from Cassidy's colleagues. And we caught up with Governor Bill Lee today at a charity event just this afternoon. He says it is premature to hold a special session surrounding the speaker. Lee says he's waiting for a vote and the legislature to signal what comes next. There's a separation of, of the executive branch to the legislative branch. It's very important and it's there's a reason for that. And so this is a decision that the the House of Representatives and that branch of government needs to make. And so I'm 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 um, intentional in recognizing that separation of government. And as soon as we hear from Phil about what the caucus says and does, of course, we will bring that to you. Meanwhile, protesters continue to speak a demand together, demand that Speaker Cassidy step down. A billboard calling for his resignation went up along I-40 this morning, and just a short time ago, about two dozen people rallied against him at the Capitol. In their hands, a massive banner reading, Resign Cassidy, given the allegations that the Williamson County Republicans sent sexually explicit texts to his former chief of staff and then lied about it. It, the group Enough is Enough want him gone. They were also putting the pressure on the state's Republican Party hours prior to that crucial caucus meeting today. We deserve better. Tennessee deserves better. Yes. Enough is enough. Yes. Cassida, you need to resign and every one of your supporters take a good look in the mirror because what you're doing is wrong. The group also blasted Cassidy's protection of Representative David Byrd. He's accused of sexually assaulting female players on the high school basketball team he coached decades ago.